There's a blue whale swimming in our oceans right now. It could destroy any building on Earth with one tail stroke. And that's just the beginning. Some predators are so perfectly evolved that captivity isn't just cruel, it's physically impossible. You've seen sharks in aquariums, maybe dolphins or seals, but certain apex predators have never been kept alive in captivity. Not because we haven't tried, because their biology makes it impossible. Today, you'll discover 10 predators so perfectly adapted that even the world's best facilities have failed catastrophically. The reasons why will blow your mind. Here's something that might surprise you. Captive breeding programs have saved countless species from extinction, but there's a group of apex predators that defy every attempt at containment. These aren't cases of bad facilities or poor care. These are biological impossibilities. This analysis comes from marine biology research and veterinary reports from top institutions worldwide. What we've found reveals why some predators are literally too evolved for captivity. We'll count down from 10 to 1. We're ranking the most impossible predators to keep alive by how badly they fail in captivity. We start with specialized habitat needs. We build up to animals that are physically impossible to contain. You'll learn the shocking biological reasons that make captivity a death sentence. By the end, you'll understand something powerful. Sometimes the best thing we can do for apex predators is leave them alone. The specialized habitat, failures, ranks, 10 to 8. Let's start our countdown with animals that seem manageable. But their specialized evolution makes them surprisingly impossible to keep alive. These first three predators teach us something important. Sometimes the smallest animals are the most mysterious. Getting this wrong means losing species we barely understand. Rank 10. Pink Fairy Armadillo. Number 10 is an animal you've probably never heard of. The pink fairy armadillo. This tiny predator from Argentina weighs less than four ounces. You'd think something this small would be easy to keep, right? Wrong. 95% die within eight days of capture. Eight days. Uh, that's not even enough time to study them. Here's why this matters. These armadillos are so specialized for underground life that scientists don't understand their basic needs. After decades of study, they live almost entirely underground in sandy plains remove them from soil, they immediately go into shock and panic. Think of it like this. You're a deep sea fish suddenly brought to the surface. Your entire body is designed for one environment. Remove that environment, your biology stops working. But here's what's really crazy. The International Union for Conservation lists them as data deficient. We literally don't know enough about them to keep them alive. It's like trying to care for an alien species. Rank 9. Leatherback Sea Turtle Number 9 is the Leatherback Sea Turtle, the largest living turtle in the world, some weigh over 1,000 pounds. They measure almost 9 feet long. Other turtle species do fine in captivity. So what makes leatherbacks different? They suffer from something called barrier blindness. Unlike other turtles that recognize tank walls, leatherbacks are programmed for endless ocean travel. Their brains literally cannot process the concept of a boundary. In captivity, they swim against tank walls constantly. They don't stop, they don't rest. They swim until they develop severe infections and trauma. Here's the mind-blowing part. These turtles have been crossing entire ocean basins for millions of years. Their internal compass is so strong that being confined is like a nightmare. Imagine running but never reaching your destination. Even when researchers try to help injured leatherbacks, they have to release them quickly. The turtles simply cannot adapt to confined spaces, no matter how large. Rank 8. Swordfish. Number 8 brings us to the swordfish. These incredible predators reach speeds of over 40 miles per hour. They dive to depths of over 2,000 feet. Aquariums like Monterey Bay have tried to keep swordfish multiple times. The result? They die within days. The problem starts before they even reach a tank. Swordfish are so sensitive to capture stress that their bodies produce fatal levels of lactic acid. It's like their muscles literally poison themselves from panic. If they somehow survive transport, their famous sword becomes a death trap. In tanks, they ram their bills into walls repeatedly. This shatters them. Fatal bleeding or infection follows. But here's what's really shocking. 
post-capture mortality in fisheries ranges from 40 to 88%. These fish are so fragile that even brief handling often kills them. The swordfish teaches us something crucial. Some predators are so perfectly adapted for the open ocean that any confinement triggers immediate biological failure. But wait, as we move up our ranking, the failures become more immediate. We're about to enter territory where biology itself guarantees death. The Universal Death Sentences ranks 7 to 4. Now we enter the realm where captivity doesn't just harm these predators, it kills them with mathematical certainty. These next four animals represent a harsh truth about evolution. The more perfectly adapted a predator becomes, the more catastrophically it fails when removed from its environment. Rank 7. Shortfin Mako Shark Number 7 is the Shortfin Mako Shark the fastest shark in the ocean. It reaches speeds of 46 miles per hour. Here's why speed becomes a death sentence in captivity. Makos need massive distances to slow down. In the open ocean, they have miles. In a tank, they hit walls at full speed, but it's not just physical trauma. Makos are partially warm-blooded. This means they have incredibly high energy needs. They require constant high-flow water and enormous amounts of food. Studies show that Makos fared the poorest of all ocean sharks in captivity attempts. Their survival time is measured in days, not weeks or months. Think of a Formula One race car trying to operate in a parking garage. The very things that make them perfect for their environment become fatal limitations in captivity. Rank 6. Great White Shark Number 6 is probably the most famous example on our list, the Great White Shark. Many aquariums have tried to keep great whites. The longest anyone ever succeeded was 198 days at Monterey Bay Aquarium. But here's the shocking truth. Even that success was actually a failure. Great whites suffer from something called ram ventilation. They must swim constantly to breathe. Water needs to flow over their gills continuously or they suffocate. In tanks, they develop a behavior called wall bumping. They swim into barriers repeatedly. This causes fatal nose trauma. Their electrical sensors get overwhelmed by all the equipment in aquariums. But here's the belief breaking point. The great white that survived 198 days wasn't thriving. It was slowly dying the entire time. The aquarium had to release it because its health was getting worse. Most great whites in captivity refuse to eat they enter a zombie-like state. Their biology simply cannot adapt to confinement. Rank five. Narwhal number five is one of the Arctic's most mysterious predators, the narwhal. In 1970, Vancouver Aquarium captured six narwhals. There was huge excitement because most people never get to see these incredible animals, but within one year, all six were dead. Here's why narwhals are impossible to keep. That famous tusk isn't just for show. It's a sensory organ containing millions of nerve endings. It helps them detect changes in water temperature, pressure and chemicals. In a tank, those sensitive nerve endings are constantly attacked by artificial conditions. Imagine having millions of exposed nerves being irritated 24 hours a day. The pain and overload is unbearable. Narwhals are also extremely susceptible to capture shock. This is a fatal imbalance caused by stress. Their hearts literally cannot handle the panic of confinement. The Vancouver Aquarium disaster taught us something important. Some animals are so precisely evolved for their environments that removal triggers immediate system failures. Rank four, vaquita. Number four is the most endangered marine mammal on earth, the vaquita. Only about 10 individuals remain in the wild. In 2017, scientists attempted something called Vaquita CPR. It was a last-ditch effort to save the species through captive breeding. They captured one breeding-age female. She died within hours. The Vaquita's stress response is so extreme that the mere attempt to capture them causes immediate heart failure. Their bodies flood with stress hormones that literally stop their hearts. Here's the devastating reality. Scientists now believe that attempting to save the vaquita through captivity would guarantee the species' extinction faster than doing nothing at all. The vaquita teaches us something profound. Sometimes conservation efforts must accept biological limitations, even when a species faces extinction. 
As we reach our top three, we encounter predators so perfectly adapted that captivity isn't just fatal, it's physically impossible. We're about to discover animals that defy the very concept of containment. The Physical Impossibilities ranks three to one. Welcome to the realm of absolute impossibility. These final three predators represent the ultimate conflict between evolution and human ambition. What you're about to learn will fundamentally change how you think about predators and their environments. These aren't just difficult animals to keep, they're physically impossible to contain. Rank three, sperm whale. Number three is the sperm whale, the largest toothed predator on Earth. Sperm whales routinely dive to depths of over 6,000 feet. They can hold their breath for over 90 minutes. They hunt giant squid in the crushing darkness of the deep ocean. Here's why captivity is impossible. Their entire body is designed for extreme pressure changes. At the surface, their joints and bones begin to break down. It's like decompression sickness, but permanent. But it's not just physical. Sperm whales live in complex family societies. Isolation from their family pods causes severe psychological trauma. No aquarium has ever successfully kept an adult sperm whale. Even stranded babies that are briefly helped usually die from stomach failure or infection. Think about this. These whales have the largest brains of any animal on Earth. They have complex social structures and communication systems. Captivity isn't just physically impossible, it's psychologically devastating. Rank 2. Giant Squid Number 2 is one of the ocean's greatest mysteries, the giant squid. No giant squid has ever been kept alive in captivity not even for a few hours. Here's why. Their bodies contain high amounts of ammonia for floating in deep water. At surface pressure, these floating systems completely fail. It's like a submarine losing its air tanks. Their blood uses a special protein to carry oxygen. This system only works in the cold, high-pressure environment of the deep ocean. In warmer surface waters, they literally suffocate. But here's the most shocking part. Giant squids have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. Each eye is the size of a dinner plate. These eyes are perfectly adapted for the darkness of the deep ocean. Surface light levels permanently damage their vision within minutes. So I, even if we could somehow solve the pressure and temperature problems, these animals would be blind and suffocating before we could study them. The giant squid represents the ultimate impossibility. An animal so perfectly adapted to an environment we can barely reach, let alone copy. Rank 1. Blue Whale. And at number 1, the most impossible predator to keep in captivity. The Blue Whale. Here's a fact that will blow your mind. No one has ever even attempted to keep a blue whale in captivity. Not because we don't want to, because it's physically impossible. Blue whales can reach lengths of over 100 feet. They weigh up to 400,000 pounds. But size isn't even the main problem. A blue whale eats up to 8,000 pounds of krill every single day. That's four tons of tiny shrimp-like creatures. To feed naturally, they need to filter millions of gallons of water through their mouth plates. No structure on Earth could contain an animal this massive or provide this much food. But here's the real kicker. A single movement of a blue whale's tail generates more force than any aquarium structure could handle. Think about this. These animals are so large that their heartbeat can be heard from two miles away. Their tongues weigh as much as an elephant. Their blood vessels are so large that a small child could crawl through them. The blue whale isn't just too big for captivity. It exists on a scale that makes human containment efforts seem ridiculous. This ranking reveals a disturbing pattern about the relationship between evolutionary perfection and captivity survival. Science of impossibility. Now that we've seen all 10 predators, let's understand the deeper science behind why these failures are inevitable. Understanding these biological absolutes is reshaping how we approach conservation of the world's most specialized predators. What we've discovered is something scientists call the captivity paradox. The more specialized and perfectly evolved a predator becomes, the more impossible it is to keep in captivity. Look at our ranking. At number 10, we had the pink fairy armadillo, which dies from habitat stress. 
At number one, we have the blue whale, which is physically impossible to contain. The pattern is clear, impossibility increases with specialization. Here's why this happens. Evolution doesn't care about our desire to study or display animals. It only cares about survival in specific environments. When a predator becomes perfectly adapted to its niche, it loses the ability to survive anywhere else. Take the Monterey Bay Aquarium's Great White Project. Despite being the world's most advanced marine facility, their record of 198 days still ended in mandatory release due to declining health. This wasn't a failure of technology or care, it was a fundamental conflict between millions of years of evolution and the basic concept of confinement. The Vaquita CPR project proves this point perfectly. Even when extinction is coming, some animals cannot be saved through captivity. The very attempt to help them becomes the thing that kills them. These failures aren't due to bad facilities, they represent biological absolutes that no amount of money or technology can overcome. Here's the big revelation. True conservation sometimes means accepting that the wild is the only place certain animals can exist. Our role isn't to control these predators, it's to protect the environments they need to survive. From the tiny pink fairy armadillo at number 10 to the massive blue whale at number 1, this ranking reveals a harsh truth. The most magnificent predators on Earth become more impossible to keep alive as their evolutionary perfection increases. Remember that blue whale we talked about at the beginning? the one that could destroy any building with a single tail stroke? Now you understand why that power isn't just impressive. It's the very reason these animals can never be contained. These 10 predators prove that true conservation sometimes means accepting that the wild is the only place they can exist. Our role is to protect their habitats, not attempt to control the animals themselves. Which ranking surprised you the most? Did you expect a tiny underground armadillo to be more survivable in captivity than apex ocean predators? Let me know in the comments below. If these biological impossibilities fascinated you, you need to see my analysis of predators that are so intelligent they've learned to outsmart every human attempt to study them. Click the video that just appeared on your screen to discover animals that are literally too smart for science. Sometimes the most powerful conservation statement we can make is admitting that some predators are simply too perfect for our world.